Welcome to Life with Little Ones channel and in our today's video, we will talk about type 1 diabetes. Every parent knows babies and small children sleep and drink a lot. But, if your child is suddenly much drowsier or thirstier than usual, it could be a symptom of type 1 diabetes. It is used to be called juvenile diabetes because most of the people who got it were young children. A child could get type 1 diabetes as an infant or later as a toddler or a teen. And most often, it appears after age 5, but some people don't get it until their late 30s. Dear parents, you should know the symptoms of type 1 diabetes so you can help keep your child healthy. Because it is like suddenly and it's not related to lifestyle or diet. And sad to say, there's no way to prevent this disease and as of now, there is no cure. That's why, it is crucial that you must be aware of the symptoms of diabetes in children so you are able to recognize them early. The signs and symptoms of type 1 diabetes in children usually develop quickly and it may include Number 1 Increase fears when it comes to diabetes, fears and polydiction can be very dangerous. Number 2, Frequent Urination Polyuria occurs when your body urinates more frequently and often in larger amounts than normal. Number 3 is bed wetting in children who previously didn't wet the bed during the night. Number 4, extreme hunger and unintended weight loss. When your son or daughter's muscle and organs are receiving enough energy, it can trigger the extreme hunger sudden weight loss, especially if he or she is eating more, should not be ignored. Number 5, irritability and other mood changes. If your child seems more moody or restless than normal, and it is conjunction with the symptoms I mentioned, it could be a cause of concern. Number 6, Fatigue and Weakness If your child is constantly tired, it may be a sign that his or her body is having trouble turning sugar in the bloodstream into energy. Number 7, Blood Vision High blood sugar levels can lead to a blood vision or other eyesight problems. Number 8. Fruity smelling breath. If your kid's breath smells fruity, it could be a result of excess sugar in the blood. In diabetes type 1, the symptoms tend to come on quickly over just a few days or weeks. And that's why it's important to see a doctor as soon as possible if you notice any of the signs. 
other symptoms of diabetes in children. Be on the lookout if your child is lethargic, shows heavy breathing, or experience nausea and vomiting. When it goes untreated, type 1 diabetes can be life-threatening. So, if you are concerned that your son or daughter is showing signs of childhood diabetes, it is important that you schedule a doctor appointment as soon as possible. As I said earlier, there is no way to prevent type 1 diabetes. Doctors don't know all the things that cause it. They know that your genes is a play role. They also know that you can get type 1 diabetes when something around you, like a virus, tells your immune system to go after your pancreas. And most people with type 1 diabetes have a sign of this attack called autoantibodies. They are there in almost everyone who has the condition when their blood sugar is very high. And when will you call your doctor? Type 1 diabetes may cause sudden, extreme swing, and blood sugar that can be very dangerous. If you notice any of the symptoms of diabetes in your child, it is important to get them a physical exam as soon as possible so the doctor can begin treatment right away. How to help your child with diabetes? When your child has diabetes, you have an important job to do. You check their blood sugar levels, give them insulin, make sure they eat the right foods, and keep their blood sugar in a healthy range at all times. Yes, it is a lot, but you can manage them when you know what to do in every situation. Here are the lists to guide you, my dear parents. Number one. Eat healthy as a family. If your child has diabetes, encourage the whole family to eat healthier. If everyone makes changes, they won't feel that they are missing out. And you can ask their doctor if they can have treats on a special occasions like birthday and whether you'll need to adjust their insulin if they do. Number 2. Monitor exercise. If your child plays sports or has plans to be more active than usual, check their blood sugar levels before they begin the activity and check again while they are active and when they are done. Exercise can affect blood sugar levels for up to 24 hours, so they may need to take extra insulin or eat extra sleep. to work with their doctor to come up with a plan list just for them. Or have an emergency plan. Even with a careful planning, your child's blood sugar can get too high or low. Besides emergency insulin, your child should have a low box handy at all times. And in 
inside his kit, packed a few funding acting sources of carbohydrates such as glucose, tablets, heart candy, and juice. child's teachers, bus drivers, coaches, and car provi care providers about their diabetes. To make sure they know what to do if a problem comes up and who to contact. Thank you for watching parents. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new videos to come. Have a nice day. And thank you again for watching.